Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am doing a little video today. It's a little um, informational video and then I want to get into my pen pal stuff. Um, so I have new lighting guys if you guys haven't figured that out yet. The best is probably back here but look I can make like animals. I don't know how to make them. <laughs> in back of me um and this light is shining right in my eyes as you can see from my glasses but um i'm still trying to figure out which is the best way to position it so bear with me um so i wanted to sh i know i had talked to, uh hmm, was it the last video hold on let me move these for a second let me move these okay i think that's better that was a little crazy okay so, um, I don't know if it was the last video I posted or the video before, but I had mentioned I'm de-stashing a ton, ton, a ton, 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 ton of wax. And what I'm trying to do is, um, split my Sterilite containers in half. And so I'll have two vendors in one big Sterilite container. Um, you know, not the, not the big long ones, but you know, the tower ones. So that's really my goal and everything else I'm de-stashing. So, and I'm not even like picking and choosing as far as the scents or anything. I'm just cutting it in half. Whatever fits in that in that half stays whatever else goes. So, you know, I'm not going to even look at it because I'll go, oh no, I like that scent. You know, I don't, I don't even want to do that. So, um, so if any of you in, in the wax D stash groups are interested, I'm doing $25 flat rate bags and then $40 plus partial regional A shipping, depending on how much the regional A is. I'm not going to, um, boxes, but I'm not going to charge you, you know, like an arm and a leg for regional A, um, if you guys want a box, but please don't post it here. Go into Facebook and just hit D stash and like any of those groups basically, except I think for one, cause they don't allow mystery D stashes, um, is you'll see my post. So you might have to scroll down a little bit or whatever, but you'll see it. So still taking orders for those because I have so much to get rid of. But I wanted to show you what came because I was explaining to you guys what I use to separate my bins. And this is actually really cool. Also, I'll show you the box. It's called, it's by XOXO or OXO. It's called Good Grips. And this is a five, I can't read at the same time. Woohoo! This is a five inch expandable deep drawer divider and they show it on here. <laughs> I'm trying to see. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Um, they show it here dividing like a kitchen drawer or whatever. It can be used for that um, or it could be used for a um, uh, like a dresser drawer. So whatever you guys store your wax and I know a lot of people store them in dressers. So this would be perfect because you could use like three of these or whatever and get like a whole lot of different, you know, in or different space, you know, kind of thing. Um, but this is five inches high. So it fits the most deep, the, the deepest drawers. And I needed that because the Sterilite bins are about six inches. So it just gives me an inch, but it works perfect because I can still stack wax up on top where it's not pouring over to the other side. So that's really, really cool. Um, looking here, it says expands. Oh, it's, yeah, it expands from 13 and a half to 22 inches for organization. And this, what's really cool about it, I have one right here is that if you're using a dresser drawer, it has these pads on the side. So that's really cool. Um, so you're not gonna scratch your wood or anything like that, but they expand like that. And when you wanna lock it in place, you just pop this up, expand it to where you want and click it down and it's all locked in place. So it's really, really cool. You can expand it as much as you want. If you're going to use it for the Sterilite bins, you're going to want to keep it locked, like not expanded at all because it fits just perfectly. In fact, it fits very, very snugly. Snugly? Snugly. fits very snugly. Um, so, but I find this to be, I'm trying to think how much these are a piece. I want to say they're about 10 bucks a piece, but I find them to be very durable and I like the fact that they expand if you needed them to expand if I decided to put some stuff in in a larger bin or something like that um and also they're not flimsy so you know sometimes you know you want to you can I can really pack the wax that I'm keeping um 
to one side, like say you have a drawer that has, you know, a ton of one thing, but not so much of another, you don't have to put it directly in the center. You can, you know, pack it over to the side and it stays and there's no flimsiness. So it's not like, you know, the wax is going to push it over or anything like that. So this is what I use guys. So like I said, they are about 10 bucks a piece, which could be a little pricey for some people. Um, I know that I had had my boyfriend construct, um, some into halves with like boxes and duct tape and stuff like that but it just didn't really hold up as well as I wanted to so to me it's definitely worth the price and then I know like once my stash gets lower than this you know once it starts to go down you know I it can easily see how much I have I can easily see when I need to purchase again that kind of thing so that's what I use I got this off of casa c a s a dot com so if you guys are interested, you can check it out. I think other sites sell it too. If you if you say um, drawer dividers or something like that, if you just Google that in, it will um, a whole bunch of different options. Well, they have wood ones too, but they just seemed kind of flimsy and they were more expensive. So this was the cheaper option. So today is pen pal day, guys. And if you guys, just to give you guys a little update, I'm writing my letters. I have bought some gifty gifts, and I'm going out tomorrow to buy some more gifty gifts. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm hoping to get a good chunk of letters out. I should probably be doing them like one at a time kind of thing. Chris doesn't really do things that way. I kind of want to do it as a big bunch. So I may have had your letter sitting there and your little gifty gift. And, you know, I don't really don't want to go to the post office with one thing. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but anyway, so I got a couple more things in the mail. This was so cute. Now, this was from Sherry McMillan, and it says, if friends were flowers, I'd pick you, and this is a, what does this say? Cosmos Grow Kit, and it's so cute. It's got a little little bee on it, a little bzz, bzz, bzz. Now, it was funny, because when I first saw this, I said, oh no. Like, it was hysterical because, and I'll tell you why. Um, so it says, hi, Christine. Hope you enjoy this pen pal, Sherry McMillan. But then the more I was reading it, I was like, okay, so the reason I said, oh, no, is because I could kill a plastic plant, you guys. I have killed a cactus before. Did you think that was possible? I didn't, but I have killed one. So I do not have a green thumb at all whatsoever. I swear I can kill pl plastic plants. So... I am not a huge plant person, but then the more I thought about it, I'm like, this is something really cool that Dante and I can do together, you know, because it's so super easy. Well, it looks super easy. The directions say it's super easy. Oh, I don't want to show Sherry's address. Okay. But Sherry's from North Carolina and so it's called Greet and Grow. Okay. And what it, and what you do is you grow it in this packet. You open this packet up and it has a, um, medium grow one growing medium pellet and one seed packet included and this is a cosmo sensation mix i don't know these flowers look super duper cute i think this is what they're supposed to look like right here but um they come in different colors and stuff like that so there's probably a mix of colors that grow so and then it says label and foil bag growing medium is from the netherlands how Nice. That's good to know. Okay, so it says dissolve growing, open the bag, could open the bag. It says dissolve growing medium pellet in three quarters cup of water and place into, into the bag. Sounds simple, right? I mean, I can make mac and cheese, so if I can follow those directions, I should be able to follow these directions. Um, sow seeds. Sow seeds? How do you sow seeds? I don't plant. I don't grow. I do just, do you have to put them in a certain like depth or can you just put them on top or what I don't know I don't know exactly how to sew anything whether it's a garment or a plant or seeds I don't know um and then it says sow seeds and cover with half inch of growing medium so and then it says keep growing medium moist but not over water that's what I did with my cactus that's how I killed it so yeah, Kristen's overdo everything. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Place into a warm, sunny spot inside your house. Again, sounds easy enough. Um, I don't really have a um, 
warm sunny spot in my house I'm trying to think like I could put it in between the slider I don't know maybe I'll have to find a little table and place it like by the slider or something I don't know but the slider doesn't get much I think the patio see it's funny because I have two out um two exits well three exits including the door but I have a back porch which has a slider but that doesn't have it's kind of like a little bit enclosed so it doesn't really have a lot of sun that shines through it of course depending on the day um and then I have a slider going from my kitchen to my entertainment patio area where the grill and everything is so I think that would probably be the best thing but like right now I'll probably just place it next to the slide in like from the, in between the curtain and the slider I don't really know. Uh, see, this is confusing me. This is, I'm perplexed here. I'm perplexed. Okay. So thin out growth by removing smallest, smallest plant, finishing with just one. And they have a little picture here. Oh, I still don't want to show her address. You guys are going to see my address, I think, no matter what. But okay. So they have a little picture here that shows you and it looks super easy, right? Okay. Cut open the bag. Number one, okay, super easy. Pour the seeds in, okay, you know, super easy, all that stuff. Water it, keep it in the sun, easy peasy, right? And then it has, this is the part that confuses me. I am perplexed. It has the picture of the stuff growing, and there's three of them. Why are you removing the smallest plant? And are you removing only one small plant, or are you removing all of the small plants? I don't know. Finishing with just one. So this has a picture of three. So if three grow, should you remove two and just leave the biggest one? I don't know. Can anybody screw this up? If anybody can, Chris can. But I'm going to try to get Dante to help me. So maybe my 12-year-old can help me do this. So I thought this was really, really super cute. So Sherry, thank you so much for this. This is really adorable. I hope I make it grow. And if I do, you guys will see it because I will be so proud of myself. I will be like one of those kindergartners that comes home with their little, you know, they put their little bean in the little Dixie cup and they come home because they have a little sprout and and they're all excited and it says mom on it oh my god I will be like that little kindergartner I'm oh my god I'll be so excited so thank you Sherry for this very much I'm, I am really I really really am excited to try this I'm scared I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie I'm a little scared but I'm excited okay so the next letter I got was from trying to cover everybody's addresses here is a little difficult it is from Karen George and she is from Missouri and she decorated my envelope which is so cute with all these little foil stickers and most of them are Tinkerbell and I love fairies if you guys have watched like my collection if you guys have seen anything about my collection you guys know I love fairies in fact I have a big huge Tinkerbell um, sitting in my media center right now love it so so cute um, and so she wrote me a nice lengthy letter and of course I'm not gonna read these letters to you but it's on cute it's actually on cute station not stationary um, paper which in this picture it may look um, white but it's pink I've never seen pink like loose leaf uh, uh, school paper but this is really cute and I like I like the big lines don't don't you guys hate college ruled paper I can't stand it I don't write that small I write bigger and so yeah I I like these big lined papers I don't know of course the ones that I bought are have no lines, so everything is probably going to be crooked but whatever so then she you know she labeled the pages one two and three which is so cute because I do that all the time too so I am going to um, she wrote her hobbies in there, which is super duper cool. And she's, you know, letting her know. Oh, oh, she's a Pisces too. <laughs> so cool, Karen. Um, so she wrote some of my, um, oh, and she has a horse. I am, oh no, she had a horse accident over three years ago. Oh, I've been thrown from horses too. I used to ride, um, competitively Western and, so she put me some things that she collects and her hobbies and that kind of stuff. So that is super duper cool. And she tells me a little bit about herself. I'm not going to read the whole letter to you, but, um, 
So I will be reading, I mean, I will be th thoroughly reading her letter and taking little notes on what she collects and what she likes. And we'll be going shopping tomorrow. I will put that on my list. The next thing I got was from Laura Jenkins. And Laura is from Pennsylvania. And she also put little stickers. These are so cute. I love stickers. I love it. I really do. And she put this in a padded envelope. I went out, you guys, to... I was going to go to Walmart because I know I could get them like in bulk easier, but I went to, I was having to be in Walgreens and I found some mailer similar to this, except they're more the plasticky type, you know, the rubbery plastic, rubbery type, whatever, like, you know, like the bubble mailers from U, the UPS, but or UPS, the postal service, but they're not from the postal service. So you can send it first class, but that's what I had recommended if you guys were sending me stuff to put in a bubble, some sort of bubble mailer. So she did. So she put little butterflies. This is, and it says pen pals on it. So super cute. And then there's a couple of little stickers. Okay, hold on. Let me try to cover everybody's hair. There's a dragonfly, which I just absolutely love. You can, so you can see my, my light is just shadowing and little flowers and stuff like that. So I love stickers. So... And you open it up. I'm just seeing this right now. So she wrote me. Look at, look at this. This is just too cute. Look at the little hearts. I love people when people do. I was, I've never been one of those people. But I, I always do like a little squiggle kind of thing with two lines under people's names when I write letters. But I, I've never done dotted my eyes with hearts. But I always thought it was so super duper cute. Okay, I'm moving my lights again. <laughs> and I'm not apologizing for it. This is just getting a little ridiculous. Okay, so hopefully this won't. Well, it's still gonna whatever shadow as much, but it, it's so fu it's so funny. It just kind of reminds me of like grade school. We used to all all do that. I then I never kept up with it, but that's so cute. And there's a little card here. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, this is adorable. This is I don't know what this what this is. I don't know if it's a bear. Or if it is a it's supposed to be a dog, I don't know what it's supposed to be. But look it, he's got a little lasso, or lasso, or whatever however you pronounce it. And he's he's got the sun, and he pulls it down, and he puts it in the mailbox. Isn't that sweet? So he's like, she's like sending me sunshine. I love that. That is so so cute. Oh, okay. So she wrote a whole letter. Greetings from Pennsylvania. So she wrote a whole, it says, sending a little sunshine your way. So cute, Laura. And so she wrote on the card. And then she added this beautiful, it looks like poppies, this beautiful stationery. So, of course, she she put two also on here. And I don't know if you can see the stationery. And then she put another little sticker on the back. So I will be reading this through also. And she used pink, she used green lettering in the green pen and pink pen. And I, I can't wait to break out my pens. I actually, I broke them out already and it's, I'm having way too much fun. Like I'd write to, love to write every single word in a different color. I know that would be so obnoxious and whoever got it would be like, I can't read this. Um, and then there's this bag with cheetah print on it, which is so cute. And inside the bag is, I don't know, what is it? What is it? Oh, I'm confused. Oh, it's a couple little things. Okay, hold on. This is so cute. Oh, shut up. Oh, my God. Laura, seriously? Seriously? Okay, so. I'm looking at this and I'm like, prom picture? I don't know. What could it be? So I open it up. I thought it was like another card. And I'm going, hmm. This is freaking awesome, you guys. Okay. You guys know that I am a huge Damon Vampire Diary freak. Vampire Diaries in general, but Damon is my hubba hubba hubba. This is so cool. This is a vintage Damon Salvatore 
picture. How cool is that? I really love when they do the flashback scenes. It's it's amazing. But it says right here too, vintage Salvatore family photos restored. Um, the beginning, Mystic Falls, 1864. So this says, Damon was born to Giuseppe Salvatore and an un and an unnamed mother on June 28, 1840. He is he was in the Confederate Army but quit, much to his father's disapproval. He and his brother Stefan developed a deep infatuation for a vampire named Catherine Pierce. So glad she's gone. Anybody watch Vampire Diaries? Are you guys glad she's gone? I'm so glad she's gone. As much as Elena annoys me, I think Catherine was annoying me more. Um, Stefan and Damon become rivals for her affections and she plays with both of them in return, planning to change them into vampires herself. This picture was taken in 1864, Mystic Falls, right after Damon returned home from the army, but just before Catherine turned him into a vampire. It is one of the last existing photos of Damon Salvatore as a 24-year-old human. I love this! I love this. I will so display this proudly. My boyfriend is going to kill me. He's going to hate it. But I will. Oh, my God. I, I love this. I absolutely love I love old vintage photos anyway. And this is just amazing. This is amazing. Oh, my God. This is so cute, Karen. So absolutely adorable. Then she got me. I'm, like, freaking out. It's so cute. Then she got me Burt's Bees. Tinted grapefruit. This is in grapefruit because grapefruit is my favorite scent. One of my favorite scents. Grapefruit lip shimmer. Hello. By Burt's Bees. And this is really all I wear is lip shimmers, lip like stains kind of things you know what I mean so I will get a lot of use out of this I actually have a couple of these in different shades I love Burt's Bees and then this is looks like it's a little this looks like it's a little compact of some sort it's it is it's a, it's a mirror this is so cute look so it's a mirror and then it's in purple which is my favorite color you guys are so good. And then you flip it open and there's the mirror. Oh, so you can see my camera. Oh, look, you can see, you can see me doubly. Oh, triply. How, look at you guys. You can see me threefold. How cool is that? Hi. <laughs> That's freaking me out a little bit. If you can't get enough of me, or if I can't get enough of myself, I will just hold this up to the camera and, you, and I can see myself three times. That's so cool. This is really, 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 really cute. I'm always looking for a mirror and I'm gonna place this right, this is gonna be perfect actually for my, when I do my beauty videos because I cannot do, I try to use my, right before I go on camera, the only thing I said like, I put on is like lip gloss. If I do, you know, if I do that and try, everything is in mirrored. So when I try to do it, I'm like, uh, you know, like I feel like one of those old ladies is going to paint their lips like way up here and, you know, just, oh my God, or a little kid playing with makeup. So when I do the videos, this will be so cute because I can hold this up and apply my makeup and not have to worry about trying to do it on here, which would just be ridiculous and I'd make a big mess. So thank you so, so, so much, Laura. That is so cute. Um, So, 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 so cute. And like I said, this, this, is just the the Damon picture is to die for. I love it. I love it. And these flowers are going to be so much fun, Sherry. I oh my god. And I just love the little saying too. If friends were flowers, I'd pick you. Well, thank you, Sherry, because I would pick you too. Um. And then, like I said, and then Karen, I'm going to get two Karen. No, Karen and Laura. Karen, I'm going to read your letter. I'm super excited to read it because I just saw horses and I was like, okay, I know I'm gonna like this. Because I love horses too. Um, so tomorrow I will be out shopping. So what I'm probably going to do is like the order that I've sort of done them in. So like like the first letter that I got, I've done that one. And then I'm going to move on and, and go from there. And so, because a lot of times I go shopping and I don't find exactly what I want to get you guys like I don't know it's it's sounds kind of weird but I'm just kind of OCD about that stuff so I want to you know try to capture what you guys like 
So, you know, I don't want you guys to open something and go, yeah, well, that's nice. Like, thanks, Chris. That's dandy. Um, you know, so I really want to try to kind of capture something that you guys would like and would use and would have fun with. So anyway, um, and if you're a dork like me, it's probably anything. Like someone could probably buy me a magic loom and I would be like, oh, yay, I'm so excited. Like, I don't know. Little, the little things excite me. So thank you guys so much. I cannot wait for you guys to get your letters back. I know you can't wait either. And I've just been so busy, you guys, with doing these, these organizing my wax and doing these de-stashes. But I swear to you, a few of them are already done. More getting done tomorrow. It's just, like I said, kind of trying to find the perfect little goodie to go in there is kind of what's holding me up a little bit. Because I'll have some stuff in my cart and then I'll go, oh, that's kind of cheesy. Like, I don't really, really want to send that, you know? And, and I'm so indecisive. Like, I'm so indecisive. I'm just like, you know, because I'll look at something and go, oh, that's great. And then I put it, and then, I, you know, and then I look and I'm like, oh, no, I don't, I don't really like that idea anymore kind of thing. So whatever, I'm, I'm doing my best guys. So thank you guys so much. And like I said, again, Casa, Casa, like me, Casa.com guys, if you guys are interested in this handy dandy tool, especially if you guys have drawers, like I said, they work perfect for the Sterilite towers. Um, but if you guys even keep your stuff, I know I've seen a lot of your stashes and you do keep some stuff in dresser drawers. Perfect perfect you could divide it into threes fours whatever depending on you know how big each you know stash from each vendor is the, the, these are really really super super duper amazing so anyway i will post a link to these um divider things down below so you guys can check it out and i will talk to you guys tomorrow or maybe the next day probably not tomorrow i don't think so because i think i have i got shopping to do and i got wax organization to do and I got de-stash stuff to do so it probably won't be tomorrow but you never know sometimes I just like to get on here and talk so to you guys to you guys so take care guys mm, thank you guys so much for the little gift gifts so generous so excited I hope I don't kill that plant wish me luck